Hey guys, thanks for watching Precision Rifle Network. Joel here. Uh, behind me, you will see part of the NRA Whittington Center. I am super excited uh, for what this day holds. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do today. I'm out here for uh, the week, like three to four days of doing whatever the heck I want. My birthday is today, actually, and I'm gonna get out there somewhere over my shoulder there somewhere is one of the thousand yard ranges and uh, i'm going to do uh, quite a few videos here so you're going to be seeing a bunch of footage uh, from this range gosh i don't even know what to say i'm just excited to be here and uh, we're going to have great video for you so let's get going on the day all right guys so the first thing i'm going to do today is shoot at the thousand yard bench rest area here at the whittington center so i've gone down and i've put up one of those giant like you know five foot by five foot uh, paper boards, paper boards, paper on a board down there, and uh, we're just going to see what I get for a group. Now I'm going to fire a couple of rounds at 400 yards because I came from about 1,000 feet sea level up to about 7,000 feet sea level here. And so I just want to make sure everything's dialed in, and I might do a separate video on that, just how the, the zero changes from 1,000 to 7,000 feet. All right guys, 10 round group at a thousand yards on paper. Right, let's go, see what happens here. All right guys, here I am at the thousand yard berm. Now, um, I wasn't calling my wind down there for you guys. I should always do that so that when I say it, shots pushed because of the wind, you would actually believe me <laughs> if I did it. But I didn't do it this time. I was just so excited to start shooting. Um, so I've got 10 shots here on the board. My first six, one, two, three, four, five, six, right here, all within, oh, that's probably five inches. So half minute, roughly, right there. And then for the last four, my wind did pick up, but I was like, well, I can adjust for it further in or I can just hold the same and I just held the same two tenths of wind and I ended up putting them over here one two three four so just that difference of wind but um, still those are all within say oh 14 inches uh, here at a thousand yards for my first ever attempt at putting rounds on paper at a thousand to see what I'm actually doing downrange definitely pleased with those first six shots should have adjusted for the wind that I actually saw. I mean, boneheaded rookie move, right? Like I saw the wind pick up based on the mirage and the scope, and I decided to hold the same wind. And there's the difference right there. Center of the group, center of the group, five inches. So I should have held four tenths instead of just two right here. And I saw it, I called it in my head, and then I never said anything and I never changed it. So that's what we get. So I'm gonna pace these up. We're gonna go try it again. All right, guys, here we go again, 1,000 yards. Last time, I added two-tenths to what the Kestrel said because of what I was seeing at 400 yards, and I thought up in elevation, I don't know what I was thinking. I think I was backwards. It should be coming off in elevation. So right now, the Kestrel is calling for 6.6. Uh, 6.6. 6. to 1,000 yards, and I'm going to go with what the Kestrel says. And uh, the wind's going to be anywhere from two tenths to four tenths. I'll try to call it if I see it switch this time. Ten more rounds, see what we get. Seriously, this is like the most nerve-wracking part. I get more anxious pulling this down, waiting to see my rounds, than I do shooting. I 
Hey guys, I'm not sure if you can see me on this camera or see the bullet holes, so I'm going to show you on my cell phone some B-roll. This is a lot better this time. I did pull one shot. Again, didn't call it. Whatever, doesn't matter. One out of t 9 out of 10, uh, all within half minute, 5 inches roughly. I'll get an official measurement here, but uh, 1,000 yards? Jeez, I ain't complaining. Here you go. So there's nine shots right there within probably five inches, something like that, five and a half inches, maybe six. And then I've got one guy clear down here. So I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I am definitely pleased with that group. I'll take a picture and get an official measurement here and throw it up on the screen for you. All right, so lessons learned here. Number one, obey the Kestrel. I thought my data was going to be way off coming this far up in elevation from zero to a thousand, uh, coming up to 7,000 and firing shots. But the Kestrel did all that work for me. I just, I was letting my brain get in the way. You need to believe the bullet, believe the process. Um, I can't tell you how important that is. I, it's not the first time I've made this mistake, probably won't be the last, but a lesson here that I can pass on to you guys. Had I gone with what the Kestrel said initially, uh, which was 6.6 .6 for my thousand yard drop and a three tenths wind hold, I would have been very close to the center of that target down there at a thousand yards just by obeying the Kestrel and doing nothing else. I put my brain into it and things started going crazy. I added two tenths for some crazy odd reason down there um, and that ended up going high and then when I came back I believed that I ended up being a tenth a little bit of, about a tenth too high. Uh, I think that's Mirage and if I would have taken a tenth off for Mirage like I usually do when there's a boiling Mirage I would have been right down in the center and I held two tenths which put me uh, onto the amateur side of the target uh, which is the downwind side, the pro side is into the wind. Um, I was two tenths, that put me onto the amateur side of the target by about a tenth. Had I held that .3 or .4 that the Kestrel was telling me to hold, I would have been on the pro side of the target or dead center. Ended up being about a half minute group down there guys at a thousand yards. I can't complain about the gun. If you're wondering what this is, we've got an MDT ACC chassis sitting here. We've got a Terminus short action. The Bartland barrel is chambered in 6GT. I am shooting Clay's Cartridge Company ammunition and uh, I've got a, a Trigger Tech trigger in here set to about a pound, 1.2. And so obviously, oh, in the glass, I'm running the Zero Comp uh, 5 to 27 up on top. One of the best pieces of glass on the market. Obviously, a great rifle setup. But those lessons learned uh, is what I want to pass on to you. So hopefully you got something out of the video today. Smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for a lot more great videos from out here in Raton, New Mexico at the NRA Whittington Center. I just got here. I'll be here all week.